Finnism is satanic. Everything you know, it a lie. The Earth is flat with a dome over it, the Sun, Moon are small and travel above the Earth in a circle. To the edge of the Earth is Antarctica, then the dome. NASA lies. Hello lovely people, my name is Emma, welcome back to my channel. It's getting to the end of the year, I'm feeling very festive, I've got a lot of festive things around. I'm wearing my festive holiday shirt. One of my favourite things to do every now and then is to go through some of the best of the worst comments that I get on YouTube because a lot of them really make me laugh. Some of them I have fun replying to, some of them I just don't understand and I feel the need to bring it to people's attention in case we can crack the code together. Mostly it's a laugh. I do this every time with the prerequisite that I get so many lovely comments, I get a lot of really informative comments, people send me links to more information on topics that I talk about so I can learn more. I get so so much good stuff. We get like 99% good stuff, we just share this 1% of weird stuff to laugh at it and I guess to feel a little bit smug and pleased with ourselves that we're not the sort of people that write these comments on the internet. So I've split these into kind of categories as I tend to do. We've got comments related to my gender and age, which is a bit random but I've put them together because they so often come together in the same comments. We've got the Jesus comments about how I need Jesus and I'm going to hell. We've got comments that are just mean, just, just hurt my feelings. And comments that I just don't, I just don't, I don't understand, I don't know what they are and I need your help. So let's read some. It's fun. This is, this is the best of the worst 2021, I guess. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with the just mean, just to kind of get them out of the way, I guess. Local vampire gives insight. Actually, that, that's not that mean. I just enjoy that I get called a vampire a lot, so I wanted to include one. Look, I agree with you, but you talk way too much. Can you please shut up, Karen? Say no to LGBTQ says... Literally, shut up. Oi, Emma Thorne. If I want red onions on my pizza, then I will have fucking red onions on my pizza. Slice of pizza emoji you. you that was on a, a podcast breakdown? Uh, I, I don't know why. We can all get a bit hangry, right? Yeah. You look innocent, but you have a potty mouth and seems very egotistical. Lies, 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 Emma lies and delete comments like a good comrade. Combining the Emma deletes comments myth with the Emma's a communist myth to form one cohesive story. One day we should write out my background based on the assumptions people make about me on YouTube. That'd be very funny. Who are you to judge someone you don't know? I swear I'm gonna kill every single jealous haters of Shane Dawson. Leave him the fuck alone. If you don't like him, stop watching him. That's as simple. But stop being racist toward your own community. Shane is the best human being. And you're just a jealous person trying to get views by talking about him. <laughs> Because you literally have no friends, life, sense of humour. Bye, hater. In defence of that person, they're clearly like 12. So I don't hold them responsible for those views. Imagine being this useless that you'd rather just study and never be a functioning member of society. Collecting more useless degrees than a thermometer in useless liberal arts classes. Hate to break it to ya, but I guarantee you that you won't get degrees that are actually worth something. I bet you've seen a film I worked on. Nice knowing you have talent. I thought you were just a freak on the internet. Th thank you. 7.30 in and you have bored me to sleep, thanks. So much vitriol. Thankfully I won't visit this again. Vitriolic and sleep-inducingly boring at the same time. There's something impressive there. This girl proves anyone can get fans on YouTube. Actually, that is true. Anyone can get fans on YouTube. You can just make an account. As long as you're older than 13, you just sign up, you go to the website, there's some tutorials. Let's move on to just a few Jesus comments. There aren't very many in this video because let's be honest, most of the ones that I get are very, very similar. And I've shown in comments videos before, especially the ones that look like they're um, posted by bots. The big, the ones that are big all caps and just have loads of stuff like copy pasted bits of scripture and are just weirdly long. I don't know why those exist, but we're ignoring those now. Accept Christ. Shan't. But Emma, if you're not saved by Jesus Christ by believing in the word of God, you're going to hell. Now, Emma, you're the one running to the rooftops to scream, oh my god, I am going to hell. Haha, -ha, have fun, because I hate hell people. When I saw the first one, I was like, that's really sad. I really feel for people who have that belief because it must be very scary and stressful to think that people you just see who are just like normal regular people are gonna be in hell for all eternity. And I saw the second one and I was like, 
it's a real mixed batch, I will say, with the Jesus comments between... When I say Jesus comments, I mean like evangelising comments or mean comments, because I get lots of comments from Christians that are just normal. <laughs> we don't include those because they're not crazy. But with the, um, with the evangelising comments, there's kind of like a... Almost like I feel like I see a 50-50 split between people who are just afraid because they believe that people are going to hell if they don't believe, and people who are thrilled that people like me are going to hell. It's a real mixed bag, you don't know what you're gonna get. Here's one that relates to what I just said. A little advice from me. Here we go. Smug holier than thou Christian time. A little advice from me. You have your own freedom to say what you like, but when the death comes, I hope you can handle the fire that awaits you. God still loves you. He's sending me to hell forever but he still loves me. The God that these people believe in is an abusive God and they should consider getting out and starting fresh in a better relationship. God still loves you, but he won't force you to believe him. The energy you have to believe something that is not proven yet scientifically, rather than man-made stuff you listen to your teachers in school, is the same effort we Christians listen to our pastors in the church. Whatever you believe in, I hope you have something to tell the master, the devil, what you did and why you are in hell. Jazz hands! <laughs> you gotta end with a good jazz hands. When I tell him why I'm in hell? Because God didn't provide any evidence for his existence. I feel like Satan will understand. I feel sorry for you, young girl, especially that one day you look at Jesus' eyes. I'm praying for you. <laughs> Jesus' eyes really made me laugh. A fake Jesse Lee Peterson account commented, You need Jesus. Return to the Father. If you are certain God doesn't exist, why do you bother wasting precious time debating on the legitimacy of God? Absolute lunacy to me. The whole reason why I'm not going to waste any more of my time on your neurotic dribble. Spent time writing me a comment though, didn't you? Boosting my engagement, you cheeky little so-and-so. Read the New Testament, it will change your life! I was an atheist. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Shan't. You are Satan. Look at yourself. I can't stop seeing all your false prophet identities. Can I be a false prophet if I'm not claiming to be a prophet? Wait, am I a false prophet or Satan? She told me to look at myself, I better check. Oh, oh yeah, I think I... Oh yeah, yeah. Now we move on to the comments that are about my gender and or my age. First of all, there's a few that are sort of about women in general. Ironic how all these feminists look like a bunch of men. You were the ones in reality who hate women and everything feminine, not the patriarchy. The role of a man in traditional household is to support his wife and children and protect them. But no, being in the home with your children is oppressive. We sure live in a biology denying dark times where everything has been inverted, I'm afraid. Women be like, I date 64 Chad. I date 64 Chad Thundercock for his personality. I've mentioned my boyfriend to you before, right? You've all met Chad Thundercock. It's okay, you'll turn 38 and be forced to marry the incel you hated. Patriarchy build the West. Women think they are men these days. Women literally cannot fight lol. If it wasn't for men, you wouldn't be able to speak on YouTube. That is true, actually. That's the thing. If you want to become a partner, you have to engage in a boxing match. Every time you hit a certain threshold, you have to fight somebody with the equivalent amount of subscribers. Women are happiest when they play their role. Staying home with the children and being a helpmate for the husband. Thank God we have this man to tell all women what makes them happy. Now we get the one specifically about me. Why is 11-year-old boy painting his finger nails? Boys can't accessorise. Sorry to tell you, I only just learnt this myself. Them's the facts. Boys can't accessorise. It's not allowed. Sorry. Emma. Are you transgender? I thought you were a handsome young man. Ops. Who is this little boy to criticise Jesse Lee Peterson? I bet you are like this. Oh, this is apparently a Viking. I bet you are like this. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I bet you are like this because you look like a little boy. Sorry your head's fucked up. You should get help. Are you male or female? How old is Emma? She kind of reminds me of them Cullens from Twilight. Just needs some vitamin D. Or just needs the D? I assume that is a girl based on the sweater it's wearing. It must be related to Greta Thunberg. Stupid minds think alike. Greta Thunberg is fucking badass. <laughs> I can only dream of being as iconic and inspirational as Greta Thunberg. You're too young to have your own thoughts yet. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a lost, confused girl who needs to forgive her parents to overcome her trauma. Why does nobody ever comment those things on men's channels? Excuse me, what is this creature? Is it male or female? Edit. Got it. It's a girl. High quality? Yes. Woman? No. 
Finally, we have my favourite category. This is the folder I've just called. What? Where I've saved all my favourite comments that don't 100% make sense or just make me laugh. Here we go. Use the toilet. This was a comment on a video about uh, bad online messages. When you show yourself in your splendor, expect to happen to things like this. <clears throat> I love the universe, God, for giving me life, and I am with Satan because I want power. Brace yourself, there's three comments here from the same person. Lucifer, Lilith, Satan, made a choice, 24 hours. They try to show you, also in your dreams, that there is miracles, purpose, love. I don't reject Jesus myself. He gave me a choice, love from Norway. This is the longest one, here we go. For your information, Emma, I have spoken to a demon. They are extremely smart. All seeing, I am with Satan, Lucifer, Lilith. I seek their powers, so having packs with them is everything, so that I can give people life, hope, using the wisdom to share and give, as well, know everything, Satan knows we think has fake, he watch everything, and let me tell you, you have the right to disagree, that guy has the right to disagree, however, magic is real, demons are real, more real than any person, book, bible, movie, story, you should turn to witches, demons, Emma, demons are superior, they will give you all answers, the reason we reject God is because we was given a choice, which is called free speech, it's not. We are all gone soon, and new generations will live, so now when you live, choose wisely. Once you speak to a demon, you will know the truth. <sighs> Emma, what are you doing with your lips? I'm keeping them on my face, under my nose. I think that's the best place for them. That wasn't a mean comment, the person, the person did reply like a nice reply. Uh, I just thought my own response was funny. <laughs> oh, Emma, you re-making a mistake here. You will regret in two to four years. And if you want to not regret after, you need to debate with your opposite. I wonder who my opposite would be. Maybe like the transformed wife? This is about Jessie Lee Peterson again. Jessie is very experienced and is 100% right on this issue. The issue is women shouldn't be educated. You seem to have strong racist tendencies against Jessie. That's very worrying in 2021. Very sad stuff. Check your privilege, Emma. God, I've got to let it go with the racism all the time. I'm being racist against my own community. I'm being racist against Jesse Lee Peterson. All of these times with me being a big old racist. <laughs> I hope everybody knows I'm joking. Why are you always skeptical of faith? Why aren't you skeptical of skepticism? <laughs> Finnism is satanic. Everything you know, it a lie. The earth is flat with a dome over it, the sun, moon are small and travel above the earth in a circle. To the edge of the earth is Antarctica than the dome. NASA lies. Gay is evolution. I've saved, in my opinion, the best for last. We're going to read a couple of comments from Richard now. Now, I don't usually need any context to present these, except maybe the title of the video. In this case, I'm going to try and explain to you before we start what I think is happening here, because otherwise it is very hard to follow. I've read this a number of times and I'm still struggling. So I believe Richard believes in telepathy. He also seems to think that Hannibal Lecter is a real person. And one time he was telepathically communicating with Hannibal Lecter and then I interrupted, and he was surprised because he didn't think I would believe in telepathy. So here we go. I look at you, Emma, and I'm not sure who I am looking at, but I don't know you in person. You're atheist, right? Then why were you in the middle of one of my telepathic communications to other people earlier and a couple days ago in a bad way? I don't think you're a demon or anything, but you're hiding something. Plus, atheists don't believe in telepathy. Because in medical science, there's no objectively verifiable evidence proving telepathy is even a thing us humans do. But I do it because it's an ability gained from spiritual awakening. I said, sorry, wrong number. That happens all the time when you're dialing in telepathically. Richard left two more comments. Who interrupted Hannibal, Emma? The final comment from Richard and of the day and subsequently of the year is this. <laughs> Feel the deafness in the pure silence of the lambs around you, hauntingly moths all around you, flying everywhere and all around you, yeah, Emma. As Hannibal's face is reflected in the flying moths all around you, Emma is looking at you knowingly, but not in a bad way now. Ha ha ha, terrifying scarecrow time. Waves of fear gas telepathically out fastly traversed through the medium of awarial spectral telepathic... Awarial... Awarial spectral telepathic fluidic space out towards E M M A, swirl twisting upside down, outward side out in, matrix broken, 
with the fear gas digitally busting up everything, door down, Hannibal Lecter just busted in, kicked in the door, waving Inda 44 at your face Hannibal has a gun to it. Now why did you interrupt Lecter, Emma? Explain conversation in a methodical, intricate, meticulous, detailed explanation, please. Out. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse at some of the more fun and silly comments that I got this year. Like I said at the beginning, I get so many really lovely and helpful comments. I get so many informative comments. People have recommended loads of other channels to me. It's actually been such an amazing year. I'm really, really grateful for you watching and supporting me. It's been amazing. I just do this because it's fun. <laughs> so with that, I will thank you for watching. Let me know down below what your favourite comment was, and if you have any insight into the comments that I couldn't quite understand, please share it with me. <laughs> I need the help. And if you wondered if I was a uh, trans or a 11 year old boy, tell me why. Let me know why, so I can get some, uh, so I can get some information going, because it's still a mystery. Have a very lovely new year if I don't see you before then. Have a very lovely week, and I will see you really soon.